Over here, we have an app preview page that's really similar to what we find in the App Store. Now we can use Auto Layout, right, to build out this page. It would take about maybe an hour, but let's see how fast we can do it with Stack View. The first thing you want to do with Stack View is identify user interface elements that can be laid out horizontally or vertically. For example, we have this rating image view and this label. These would be great subviews for a Stack View with a horizontal axis. So to embed them in a Stack View, what we can do is select on them and go to the bottom right here, click on Embed In, and select Stack View. And just like that, we created a Stack View. Notice that Xcode was smart enough to know these elements are side by side horizontally. So it created a stack view with a horizontal axis. And it also picked up how far they are apart and provided a default spacing of 15 points. Let's make them a little bit closer, change it to five. Here we can also see the other properties we were talking about originally with our alignment and distribution we can change the values of these properties by simply selecting on the dropdown. So that's really nice. Also notice when we create a stack view that our document outline also reflects that. So we can see here that the image view and the label is nested inside of a stack view. Now for the next part, what makes a stack view great is that they can be nested inside of each other. So you can have a stack view within another stack view. In fact, Apple highly encourages this as you're working with more complex views. Here we can see another great candidate for a stack view with a vertical axis. Let's click on embed in and select stack view. And we'll create another stack view between the image view on the left and the stack view on the right. If I click on embed in stack view again, we have a horizontal stack view created. And finally, we can create one more vertical stack view with the stack view on the top, the segmented control, and our image view. Notice that our segmented control is squished and flush towards the leading edge of our stack view. Now let's think about how we can stretch the segmented control horizontally. First, we start with the axis of the stack view. It's currently set to vertical. So that means if we want to control the horizontal layout of our segmented control, we will look at the alignment property. Let's see what happens if we change leading to trailing. And we can see here, all of the subviews are flush towards the trailing edge of our stack view. And feel free to play around with this to better understand how a stack view works. In our case, we want the segmented control to stretch horizontally. So I'll select the value fill. And now we're done with the subviews. But remember, you still need to set auto layout constraints on the stack view itself. So what I'll do here is set a leading, trailing, and top constraint of 20 points by 20 points, and click on Add 3 Constraints. And that is how you build interfaces with Stack View.